sparring with Devin Haney. How old was he and what did you see from him in that sparring early? All these guys, uh, I've been in the ring with uh, Devin when he was an amateur, Teofimo when he was an amateur, uh, Tank, he was an amateur when I got in the ring with Tank. Um, I've been in a lot in the ring with a lot of guys, young kids that are now, you know, coming into their own. Um, and number one thing that has to be said is more than likely I would not have been in the ring with those guys if my dad didn't see the potential mm -hmm. in them. They're, they've all now become, you know, big in the sport of boxing. Um, and so that's exactly what I saw from them guys. Devin, literally everything that you see now, probably more punching. My God, probably more more punching, you know, because it was he had an amateur pace back then. Mm -hmm. But you know the the foot movement was there, the speed was there. You know, here's the thing: a lot of fighters are ahead of their time, and um, you know the ones that don't improve when they turn pro don't don't create a professional atmosphere around them. Those are the ones that usually don't improve. I just saw an interview uh, of Devin saying that that um, uh, that Ryan really hasn't changed much. He hasn't evolved much to become, since becoming a professional. Mm -hmm. Ryan was more than likely one of those guys ahead of his time, a little more advanced as an amateur, and it caught up to him because he didn't transition and evolve and become a professional. You know, so that could be something we see on fight night, you know, where we see, you know, the fact that this kid once upon a time was very good as an amateur, not, not yes, sir. Um, still good, but not mm. better, not not evolved as a professional. Real, Ryan Garcia. Real, real quick, uh, thoughts because you are one of the one half of the father-son duos in boxing. Yourself and your father, Kenny yeah, Porter. Man. What are your thoughts on Bill Haney? He gets a lot of uh, kickback from the public on how vocal he is yeah. behind his son. But how is important? How important is it for your father to be that voice and just? be the you know ride and die with your son i'm on record for saying this man i wouldn't have got where i got without my dad uh i really don't think there was anybody else that was going to promote me and manage me and do the things for me that my dad did mm -hmm. um the first the, and i'm gonna just go ahead and say it, the first name that jumps out to me is barry hunter barry is an excellent 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 and o's coach excellent when it comes to uh, motivating a fighter uh and training and also in the middle of a fight uh in the corner um, but I don't know if Barry, as great of a coach as he was, I don't know if, great, if Barry had the techniques of managing and promoting a fighter myself the way that my dad did. And I know I know Barry would go on record for saying, you know, Kenny did for him what I wouldn't have been able to do. You know, it's necessary. And oh, there we go. Devin is, is just like me, soft-spoken, uh, articulate, professional, uh, looks good just wants to do his job, which is get in the ring and fight. He needs somebody on the outside of the ring that can do what his dad has done for him. So it's been a dynamic team watching them grow up, growing this fight game. And I think that they work exactly how they need to, not only with each other, but when it comes to, you know, working with it up uh, um, in the public. And, um, you know, I, I definitely think that Bill, he, uh, he, he, picks his, he picks his poison very well. And, uh, you know, I think he's been become very entertaining as well. For sure. Yeah. Appreciate you, Sean. Porterway uh, oh, Podcast, you're doing a great yes, job, sir. man. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, thank you. Bro. you.